Hey Cancer, welcome to your spirit messages for the middle of September to middle of October. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new or if you're returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our collective. If you have never seen these videos before, they are complimentary to your monthly and weekly readings. These are messages from your angels, your masters, your teachers, your loved ones, your guides. And if you're like, oh, Char, your energy is different, it's because it is. I am channeling directly right now. I am connecting to uh, source, uh, to your spirit team, to whoever has the highest intentions, the purest messages of the highest good for the highest good for the Cancer Collective, okay? Look. This week, or sorry, this month, I should say, and next month are really, really transformative as we start leaning into the eclipse energy and we start uncovering a preview to what we're all going to experience collectively over the next two and a half years as the nodes move into the north node Pisces and the south node Virgo. Now, why is this important? It's important because Pisces in the North Node is all about compassion. It's all about humanity. It's all about empathy. It's all about spirituality, about realizing the importance of having a, a spiritual ritual, spiritual practices, spiritual relationship, about the spiritual evolution of our consciousness, of our humanity. And you play an integral role in this cancer as a water sign. You are a healer. Water signs are natural healers. And you may be called up to step up and lead. Raven coming in here, okay? She's not been coming through all the readings, okay? Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest, and the void. Stop, embrace winter, a great cosmic womb. Ma'am, I know you want to go sleep, okay? She's like, it's bedtime. Okay, but I've finished doing these readings. Um, <sighs> you want to take care of others. You want to, you are a nurturer, you are a healer, but who takes care of you, Cancer? Who takes care of you? You deserve love, you deserve peace, you deserve comfort. You deserve care. You deserve nourishment. You deserve attention. You deserve to feel all this energy. Think about what Raven is doing right now. She's loving on me, right? She's loving on you. She's here for you right now. She knows what I'm doing. Look at her hitting this card over and over and over again. I mean, kind of looks like her, right? This little void. It says, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. See, you are transforming like a butterfly. You're going through massive metamorphosis. And this metamorphosis that you are experiencing right now, Cancer, is leading you towards new opportunities, new ways of being. Ma'am, do not even think about pushing these cards off the table. The Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Nine of Swords. Look at this wonderful energy you have here in the tarot. A new beginning, a new chapter cracking wide open for you. How can you see the gifts from the universe, the gift God is wanting to give you when you are too busy in over analysis paralysis, in stress, in worry, in anxiety, in sleepless nights, in depression? Source is saying this is a period in your life where you got to learn how to reprogram that mind, baby, rewire that energy, rewrite your story shift your perspective new doors are wanting to open up for you here new relationships new friendships new everything the fool and the ace of pentacles is a beautiful duo of cards but this blessing this massive blessing blocked by your own self-sabotage by maybe your own story that you're not worthy enough if you and I were sitting down together, chitty chatting, okay, maybe you were here cuddling Raven, giving her some love, all right, and I said to you, do you believe you're worthy of receiving everything that you desire? And I just heard some of you say, no. Why? Why? Why are you not worthy? Who told you you're not worthy? Mom? Dad? Ex? Husband? 
wife? And if these people have told you that you're not worthy, what validity do their statements have? None. That's right. None. And you know that. You know that consciously. You know that in talking to me right now, you know that what they're saying isn't true. So if you know that with certainty, how now do you start focusing on dropping that into your subconscious? That is the work. Do you know how you do that? By loving on yourself, by taking care of yourself, by nourishing yourself, okay? Realizing that living in fight or flight and survival mode, it's not, it's not, it's not feasible long term. And if you have been in a dynamic like that, especially if you've been in a toxic, abusive, difficult relationship like that, you got a chance now to break free from that. You got a chance now to break free, to let it go, to purge it, to dump it. And you have permission. You have permission for that not to be your reality anymore. You have permission for this to be your reality. The Ace of Pentacles and the Fool. Look how happy she is. Do you see how loved she feels? That's the type of love you deserve. And if your friends, your work environments, your home life, whatever dynamic you're currently in right now that isn't making you feel this way, or you can feel comfortable and safe to lay down, to receive cuddles, to receive love, if they are not giving that to you, then I promise you they are not worth it. They are not. Because you deserve the love, the nourishment that you give to others. Council of the Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. I think for a lot of you, you've been wanting to break free. Break free from the toxicity, break free from the challenges, maybe even break free from relationships, careers, etc. And Source is saying right now you have angels, masters, teachers, loved ones that are all around you that are just waiting for you to give them the green light. You know, this reminds me, I'm going to tell you a little story and I hope you'll stick around, Cancer. This reminds me, at once upon a time, many years ago, geez, it must have been like 22, 23, I was dating this guy. This guy was no good. It was a very unhealthy relationship, um, full of things that were not healthy at all. And I remember feeling so deflated to the point that even one time his sister was like, you realize how much she cares about you and you're just treating her like shit. Like even his sister called him out on it. And she looked at me and she said, he doesn't deserve you. And I remember I was sitting on the bed and I was so upset. Like, how could he do this to me? Well, he did it to me because I let him. I let him mistreat me. I chose to stay in that. Even I kept trying and trying. But what happened that day when I sat down and realized what was going on and I was praying to God and I was like, God, give me an answer. Show me a path. Show me a way. Do you know what I heard? I heard so loud. I mean, so loud. Leave. That voice, it was like vibration inside of my entire body for me to leave. And back then, yes, I was spiritual. Yes, I was into all this stuff, but not to the depth that I was, that was like my second spiritual awakening, to be honest with you. I remember like so loud, leave. It was like my angels, my masters, they were all fucking mad at me and they were screaming at me to get out of that relationship. I left so damn fast. I left so damn fast and that ushered in my second spiritual awakening. And with Mintaking, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers, I feel like a lot of you are being called to leave these dynamics that are not serving you, to walk away from these people, places, things. And this lunar eclipse on the 17th and the solar eclipse on the 2nd, they're like paving the way forward for you. They're showing you what needs to be done for you to rebuild your life in a way that's aligned with your dreams, with your desires, a build of happiness and purpose and fulfillment and freedom for you. The great gathering, it's all coming together, intuitive hits. 
soul tribe. And here is source once again confirming. If you desire something, if you are seeking something, it is available to you. You have to believe that you are worthy of receiving it. You have to believe and then you have to take and make the appropriate moves and take the leaps of faith, knowing that source will always, always divinely guide you. I'm going to pop this video here specifically because you had pentacles show up around manifesting money. All right. And if you want to follow on Instagram, you want to book a session with me, you want to work with me in any capacity, it's all in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.